gardeners, it's Susie from Monkey Pots. Creating a salsa garden in your Monkey Pots Perfect Patio Planner vertical garden is really easy to do. And the payoff is that you end up with delicious salsa at the end of about a two month period. And your salsa may last just about the rest of the season once you start growing it. So first of all, let me tell you what ingredients go into salsa. It's probably one of the easiest things you could ever make and it's delicious and it's kind of healthy for you as well. Um, it has tomatoes, jalapenos, green onions or regular onions depending on what you like to use and cilantro of course. A little salt and pepper, mix it together and you've got yourself a delicious salsa. Timing is the key to a salsa garden. I start with tomatoes since they're the biggest item. In this case I'm growing some determinant tomatoes and determinants just mean that they're not, um, they're more like a patio tomato. They don't get quite as big as some tomato plants called indeterminants get. And in this case this is an early girl which is um, it's about 52 days before it's ready to, um, you're ready to pick the fruit. Green onions are really easy to grow in your perfect patio planter. You can grow them in either the small containers or the large containers. And I kind of grow them all season, so I always have green onions available whenever I want to pick them. So green onions are something you're going to need in your planter. And then of course you're going to need cilantro. This cilantro I actually started from seed, but you can also just go ahead and buy starter plants at your local nursery or start from seeds. Remember, if you start from seeds, you need to start earlier. So we're just gonna put this little cilantro plant in our planter and get that started. You can fit like two or three even in the small planters, or you can put them next to the tomatoes in the larger planter. Cilantro grows like weeds, so don't worry about not having enough. You certainly will always have enough cilantro. Once it starts growing, it doesn't really stop. Okay, in this planter, I'm going to do the entire salsa garden in this one container. So here is my tomato plant. Like I said, it's a determinant tomato plant, so it will grow uh, not too large. It won't grow, it won't grow six to eight feet tall, let's say. It'll grow three, maybe three, three and a half feet. Okay, so we have that in. Over here we have our jalapeno. You can use any kind of pepper you'd like to use. Some people like to use spicier, some not so spicy. Green onions are back here. And now we're going to add our cilantro. We plant our cilantro. Remember to water and fertilize regularly. And in about 60 days, I will have delicious salsa. So that's all there is to creating a salsa garden. Visit our website if you want to learn more about the Monkey Pots Perfect Patio Planner, and that's at monkeypots.com. We also have some cool videos on container gardening. Well, thanks for watching, and happy gardening!